This is Leonard. Leonard has a company and is very rich. This is Mike. Mike is an employee in Leonard's company and takes care of the finances. One day, Leonard finds out that Mike does not handle his money well. He always buys fancy things for himself with company money. Because of this, Leonard calls Mike into his office and fires him right away. Mike starts to think about what to do next. He knows a few people that owe Leonard some money. So, he goes up to them and exchanges the promissory note with one requiring less money. And in this way, Mike has made friends that can help him out once he is unemployed. Jesus told this story to show his listeners how the world sees wisdom and the ways that we ourselves can benefit from our own plans. Jesus also wants us to be wise, but for the sake of the kingdom, not for our own benefit. Jesus said that the law and the prophets were taught until John, but now the good news of God's kingdom is being preached. He emphasized that the law remains unchangeable and also stated that divorcing and remarrying is considered adultery. This is Mike. Mike has his own company and makes a lot of money. He can afford to buy anything he wants. He has a huge house, a swimming pool, an expensive car, and all of the newest technology. This is Lazarus. Lazarus is not rich like Mike. He is sick and poor. He does not even have a tent where he can sleep. So he lives on the street in front of Mike's house. If Lazarus is lucky, he finds something to eat out of Mike's garbage. It is just enough for him not to starve. One day, Mike and Lazarus both die. Mike wakes up and finds himself in an awful place. It is unbearably hot and he is in a lot of pain. The Bible calls this place hell. He looks up and he sees Lazarus and he is far away from him in a place that is beautiful. The Bible calls this place heaven. Mike calls out for help, but there is no way that Lazarus can help him. There is a huge gap between hell and heaven that no one can cross. It isn't even possible to give Mike a little sip of water. Jesus told this story to show his listeners that all the wealth you may gather here on earth is meaningless after you die. What matters is where you spend eternity after you die, with God in heaven or apart from him in hell.